such strange things about uh, uh, Russia and Moscow in particular. I'm a Moscovite. I was born and raised here. And when I tell people I'm a Moscovite, they don't believe me. You know, for many of reasons. And one of them is, I'm happy. Uh, <laughs> that was... <laughs> But I was born and raised here, and uh, th there are a lot of things that I don't understand. For example, can anyone please tell me why the hell do half of the Russian schools, especially in Moscow, have no doors in toilets? <laughs> can you, anyone explain to me that? Because I was studying at school. We had a toilet, you know, there were clean toilets, you know, there were walls separating them, making them into cabins, but there were no fucking doors. <laughs> I just wonder, who came up with this brilliant engineer solution? Like, I was picturing in my head two engineers talking to each other, and one of them was like, Okay, Ivan, so we nearly have finished the construction of this school. The only thing that's left are toilets. Mm, good service, so here's what you need to do. Put some good quality toilets in there, put the walls between them, but don't put any doors. <laughs> but Ivan, why? Because Sergey. Russian children need to learn from the childhood that they have no personal space. <laughs> Everything must be done for the country by the people. But Ivan, communism died 30 years ago. Not for me, Sergei. Do it. And you know, this joke for me was very funny until recently when I found out that the Minister of Defense of Russian Federation announced that they would be removing all the doors from the toilets in the Russian army. <laughs> because a Russian soldier must not be afraid to shit in the face of the enemy, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's switch the topic a little bit. Uh, clap if you watch porn. Five, six. Okay, for those six of you who, who clapped, thank you guys for your honesty. The rest of you, don't worry, I get it, your hands are busy. Uh, uh, yeah, and you know, like, uh, I, I watch porn, you know, obviously. I watch porn, just look at my face. I, mean. uh, I watch porn, and uh, recently I got very upset and depressed when I found out that my favorite porn actress, Sasha Gray, stopped doing porn. She just quit. She stopped doing porn. But you know what she's doing right now? She has her own YouTube cooking channel. <laughs> she does! And I went to her channel, uh, I watched uh, the last of her videos on that channel, still having some hope. Uh, <laughs> and in that video, she was cooking Russian dumplings. Pilmeni, yeah? And in the middle of that video, she looks at the camera and she says, So, I'm gonna be making Russian dumplings today, but because in the recipe they have very little meat, I will put more meat inside. And I'm listening to this and I'm like, mm, New job, old habits. <laughs> and uh, one final thing, guys, that I want to tell you. I'm a real tech nerd, you know, I love everything about technology, I follow the, the news about technology. And uh, what irritates me is whenever a new, brand new, very powerful smartphone comes out on the market, people immediately start calling it an iPhone killer. Oh, it's an iPhone killer. Guys, let me tell you something. You can, no matter how much you want to try, no matter how much you will be looking for it, you will never find a better iPhone killer than Steve Jobs fan-created cancer. <laughs> Thank you guys very much.